What's up guys, Random Razor here with another tech video for you guys today and in this video I'm going to show you guys some top accessories I recommend getting for your brand new MacBook or MacBook Pro. So for those of you who are heading off to college or university and you picked up your brand new MacBook for school, you definitely made an excellent choice for a computer. One of the great things about the MacBook is that many manufacturers make great accessories for it as well. So in this video, let's check out some of the accessories that you should get for your MacBook or at least recommend and consider for back to school. The number one thing I recommend for a MacBook is some sort of protection for it, whether it be a hard shell case or a sleeve or a combination of both. The first one to look at is a hard shell case for the MacBooks and just like buying a case for an iPhone, it's designed to protect the finish and exterior of the computer. The one thing that they won't do, unlike an iPhone case, is protect it from drops. Now granted it will help, however, because the computers like the MacBooks are so heavy, a plastic hard shell is not going to really do much in terms of drop protection. So they're definitely great for scratch proof, bruises, bumps, and things like that. There are three brands I recommend for the MacBook uh, for a hard shell case, and that is Spec, Moshi, and Incase. Moshi is my favorite one since they have a really nice scratch resistant finish on theirs. Spec is also a great option for those of you looking for a lot of variety. They offer different a uh, number of different colors as well as different finishes, and Incase is also very well known one as well, all sold at the Apple store online. Hard shell cases are definitely a good option as they protect the exterior of the MacBook from scratches and everything as I mentioned earlier, and basically just keep it from wear and tear. The other option you can also get for protection if you don't like a hard shell case is a general sleeve. This one here is the Incase Canvas Sleeve. I picked this up probably three or four years ago. Still in good shape. The most popular one is the Incase Neoprene Sleeve, which you can pick up at the Apple store or, on the, or the online Apple store as well. The great thing about sleeves is that they're very easy to use and offer more protection than the general hard shell case because most sleeves do have extra padding in between so if you accidentally drop your computer in it, it has a better chance of surviving than say just a plastic hard shell case. For me though, the best combination is definitely a hard shell case as well as a sleeve. The next accessory I recommend getting for your computer is a keyboard cover. Now, the great thing about keyboard covers is that first they make them for the MacBooks and also they protect your keys from wear and tear. But the biggest reason why I recommend them, and this is also from personal experience years ago on my 13 inch MacBook Pro, is that they help uh, protect your computer from spills. Now they're not the type of thing to guarantee prevention of a spill, in other words liquid getting into the keyboard, but it'll definitely help give you enough time in case you spill something to grab your computer and flip it over before any liquid makes it underneath the keys. And from my own experience, if any type of liquid gets underneath the keyboard here, you're going to be looking at a very expensive repair bill. There are two types of keyboard covers, silicone and TPU styles. This one here is a TPU style one from Moshi, it's called the Moshi Keyboard Cover. And they make a really good keyboard cover as it's perfectly designed for the Retina Mac Pro that I have here. Very, very thin as well, so it maximi maximizes sorry, uh, typing efficiency. And also lets the backlight shine through, so that's a really great advantage with this style. With any keyboard cover, however, you will notice that you lose typing efficiency. In other words, you won't type as fast as you would without a keyboard cover on. The great thing about these is you don't always have to have them on so if you want to type an essay you can definitely take this off but most of the time I do leave it on just for added protection. The third accessory I recommend for a computer is a new backpack with a built-in laptop sleeve. So if you're in the market for a new backpack for college or university, definitely consider one with a built-in laptop sleeve. The great thing about them is that they protect your computer while it's in your backpack, it's in a secure place, and they're generally well padded. If you're looking for a tech-oriented style backpack, there are three brands that I recommend. Spec makes a good one right here called the Mighty Pack Plus. Incase makes an excellent one as well called the Icon Backpack. Thule is also an excellent brand, very unique design and pretty durable as well. And one of the nice things about backpacks with laptop sleeves is that they work effortlessly with a hard shell case on your MacBook. So you have extra protection with that case on, plus the padded protection of your backpack. And it also means you don't have to have an external portable sleeve that I showed you guys earlier if you already have a sleeve in your backpack. So that pretty much sums up the four major accessories I do recommend for a computer. There's a couple other things you could get but aren't necessary. Um, this one here is the Moshi Palm Guard. 12 South also makes a, a leather version of this. And it basically just protects the palm rest area of your computer. Um, I like this Moshi one because it kind of matches the look of the map up without uh, making it look like there's anything there. But um, not something that's necessary but you could get if you want extra protection. A fifth accessory you could get and is not necessary is a screen protector for a computer. Now the MacBooks don't have a touchscreen, which is why I say you don't necessarily need it but if you really 
you want one, uh, they do make them for the MacBooks. This one here is from Moshi called the iVisor Pro. It's an anti-glare one. The only thing I don't like about this is that it kind of takes away the quality of the retina display just a little bit. So it is a bit of a downside because it's an anti-glare one. I think SGP makes a crystal clear one, but it kind of takes away the uh, anti-reflective coating that's already on the MacBook. So again, it's not something that's necessary, but it's an option if you really want. One final thing I recommend, it's not something that's necessary, but you could get extra warranty for your computer. Apple does offer Apple Care, which extends the warranty on your MacBook for an additional two years, so you get three years altogether, and that includes telephone support, and of course, uh, free repairs in case of any manufacturing defects. Now, if you spill something on your computer, your SOL on that, but if something goes wrong, such as you know, display stop working for some reason, then you'll take it in, Apple will, will fix it, or replace the display, and it'll be all covered by Apple. Normally, I don't recommend warranty for stuff, but unlike an iPhone where you're probably going to replace the phone, you know, after two years or three years, you do expect your MacBook to last for three years, four years, or five years. It's an investment, so extra warranty does help. It's basically insurance in case something does go wrong with your computer. Anyways, that pretty much sums up my recommended accessories for your brand new MacBook. You obviously don't have to pick every single one up. Some of these you may want, some of them you don't need or you don't think you need. It's up to you, but those are the accessories I do recommend for your computer. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you all next vid.